Good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. It's currently like 8.40 in the morning. It's Tuesday, August, I believe 25th. Um, and this is my last week of summer before school. Um, and I thought I would vlog it for you guys just because I haven't done like a week in my life in a long time and you guys really like my last one. So yeah, it's actually Tuesday, not Monday. Um, yesterday I literally, all I did was work. So you didn't miss anything, promise. But yeah, I'm getting dressed really quick cause me and my dad actually have to go drop off, um, this car, um, in the city that my sister's looking at getting, but she's not here right now. So we had it for the weekend to look at it, but now we're going to go take it back. And like, we both need to drive a car to take it back. So the other person can get away back here. If that makes any sense. Also, my skin's really not thriving at all because of wearing a mask all the time. So that's cool. And yeah, I'm going to get dressed really quick. I'm literally in my pajamas and my room is a disaster. Let's just look. I'll expose myself just for you guys. But yeah, this is my fit. <laughs> just forgot fit. My room is literally a mess. I'll probably clean it at some point in this vlog, but that point's not now so i'm gonna get dressed really quick because we need to leave soon because i also have to babysit at 10 and it's already like 8 49 we have to go drop off the car and come back and then i need to make coffee and stuff so i'm gonna shut up and get dressed clips of me driving with the car um but i was clearly driving so i couldn't do too much but yeah that was pretty much it um yeah we drove through the baltimore tunnel the harbor tunnel um so that was pretty cool but it was also kind of nerve-wracking because i'd be nervous driving through tunnels to be honest like it's not really my thing but yeah i got some clips for you now we're at the car dealership we just dropped it off and i'm gonna ride back with my dad so that was a fun little drive through the city how's your kid in the house he was like i'll keep my kid outside so they have a lot of rats around here hi can i get a medium caramelized coffee with oat milk no thank you thank you thank you thank you why don't you get a large But look at how much bacon I got. Literally, that's the only bacon I got. That is so tricky. Hi guys, so I forgot that I was vlogging today. Awkward. It's about three o'clock now. I just had some Panera for lunch. Um, it was really good. I was watching some YouTube and talking to my parents and stuff like that. But I'm about to go to Target really quick with Alex because I need to get a couple things. Hey guys, we're at Target right now. This one's cute too. We're like acting a fool. Work. We're looking at the bralettes and stuff. Wow, those are really cute too. And so is this, but I don't need it. It's like a two piece set. Honestly, it's like the fall's coming up now and it's like cozy vibe. Oh, that's so cute, the little two piece set. I I've always wanted one of those. I need pajamas. Like, I feel like I'll be an actual adult once I have like a pajama set. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're at Starbucks. Surprise, surprise. Um, Today's the first day of fall drinks at Starbucks. I'm getting a pumpkin, sweet like cream, pumpkin. cold brew. Chill oh, with oh pumpkin. Oh my gosh, I can get a salt caramel mocha. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm gonna do a little Target haul for you real quick. The first thing I got is that little nine keyboard organizer back there. Um, I literally already have one over there in my room, but um, as you can see, the amount of sweatshirts and sweatpants I have, it just is not looking cute right there. It was really cute and stacked up, but like I realized that I can't keep up with that. So you know, most people would probably be like, why don't you just get rid of your sweatshirts and sweatpants? But um, no. So I got that organizer instead. I got with this bralette because it's really cute and I'm doing like a euphoria outfit later this week for one of my friend's birthdays so um I'm basically gonna have this like mesh dress with like glittery stars on it and then I'm gonna wear this like bralette underneath I thought it was super cute and like the straps are really like minimal I thought it was cute yeah and then the next thing I got um I got some dry erase markers these were only like five dollars as you guys know I use my whiteboard all the time for school and stuff and since my classes start next week I need to you know get it together with that and the last thing i got was um this room essentials is a pop-up like laundry basket it was only nine dollars so i need to take a thumbnail picture of my ipad i have like a vision but i don't know where i'm gonna take it at okay. 
these two things for finishing touches. Okay, the blue light glasses. And then I'm gonna take a picture. Yeah, those are cute. I'm gonna whiten the table and stuff like that and edit them and um, I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay guys, so it's about 5.43. My little brother's talking to his video game friends, whatever, so I'm about to, I just clicked um, a 5.45 upload for this video. It's apps you need for school. Um, basically it's titles free, free iPad apps you need for online school, advice from a pre-nursing student. Basically I just show you guys a couple apps. There's the thumbnail if you guys wanted to see it. Sorry, it's blurry. But basically, it's just a video that's gonna show you all of the apps that I recommend for like school that I found out about last year um, and I used a lot, so yeah. Um, as I showed you guys earlier, my room's a mess. I'm not gonna show you again because it's embarrassing, honestly. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I have like a whole, guys, I have not done laundry in weeks it's been at least three weeks so i'm gonna do some laundry really quick and then um as the laundry's like in the in the laundry i'm gonna set up my organizer so that we can start organizing that stuff and yeah i also um some point this week i want to list a lot of clothes on depop because i honestly just have so many clothes that i don't wear and i'm never going to wear and especially with quarantine and stuff like that not quarantine especially because like this semester is going to be online like there's really no reason for me to um like have all these clothes that I'm not gonna wear. And I don't know if you guys know, but I actually started working at American Eagle. I don't think I may talked about it in a vlog yet. I actually started working there, so I get a discount on clothes there. And like, if I'm gonna keep bringing home clothes, I don't need to keep clothes that I'm not wearing. So, yeah. Good morning, guys. For some odd reason, I woke up at like 8.30. It's currently like 8.56 right now, because I was just lying in bed thinking about life. But, good morning. Um. I'm usually not awake at this hour, so this is very weird. But I don't have to babysit until 12 today, which is actually pretty late for me. So I'm kind of excited because that means I can do a lot of stuff before I go. And yeah, I'm gonna make some coffee. I just chugged a bunch of water because I'm trying to drink a little more water before I drink coffee. Just because like coffee is a dehydrator or whatever or something. I don't know. I just need to drink more water anyways. Um, also my nail fell off and then this one fell off too. So I think I'm gonna take these off today. They're super cute though. My friend Julie did them. So shout out to Julie for watching this. They're adorable, but I'm like so rough on my nails that like no matter what, like they always fall off. So. <sighs> wow, I'm so tired. Oh, well. Fresh Prince of Bel Air um, like theme song triggers me because when I was like 12, my first ever hip hop class, like for dance, my first ever hip hop dance was a hip hop dance to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme song. And it literally gives me PTSD because the picture is so horrible. I don't even know where it is, but there's a picture of me in that dance and it is so awkward and I literally just wanna scream. I'm going to do a little cycling workout so I don't know I think the last time that I vlogged I didn't show you guys my dad actually got a spin bike um which is really cool um because that means I can start spinning now because like so where I live there's like no soul cycle cycle bar there's no kind of cycling places at all um, there's some that are in the city, but I just don't like driving in the city like that. So thank goodness my dad was like, oh, I'm kind of just looking into getting a cycling bike. And I was like, well, that's perfect because I could use that too. You should get one. Yeah. But anyways, I'm going to change really quick. It's like 1030 and I was watching this girl's Snapchat story and I was looking at how nice her like body is. And I was like, man, I should work out. <laughs> so we're gonna do that all right guys so here's my cycling outfit i have my sweet sweat on right now because i don't really sweat that much and like i need to like 
I just, whenever I sweat, I feel like I'm getting a better workout, so I like to wear it. So yeah, and then I'm just wearing this white top from Vite Apparel, and then I'm wearing these maroon leggings. And then I'm also gonna, sorry my room's a mess, literally I say that every video, it doesn't even matter. But um, they're really comfortable, guys. Um, I think I still have a discount code with them if you guys want to check out their stuff. It's like a Canadian, my window, my mirror is so dusty. <gasps> 10 out of 10 love it. I'm about to make another order to be honest because I think it's just adorable and like the packaging and everything. I'll put a card to the vlog that I unboxed it like up here or whatever. But it was super cute, okay? And like all the packaging was so like uplifting and like women power, girl power, or whatever. And I was like, that's adorable. So yeah, um, I'm gonna put some deodorant on. If you guys want a natural deodorant to try, I recommend the Love, Beauty, and Planet one. I tried, I think. I don't know if it was the native one, but like one of them gave me like a really weird rash in my armpits because apparently you're supposed to like strip your armpits before you try natural deodorants because like it can react with like the aluminum and stuff in your old deodorants which I didn't know that so like I tried it and sis was not doing well okay so my mom put the bike in our living room so I'm just gonna be on it right here but I always look up a YouTube video and kind of follow that um last time I did this one it was pretty good like I was really tired for it only being 20 minutes so I'm gonna try this one because I have a lot of uses first recommended so obviously it must be good um Hey guys, it's Brian from CBS. Got a little bit more power. Guys, I'm about to leave to babysit, but I want to show you what I'm gonna have for breakfast really quick. I just made a bagel sandwich. There's like honey ham and cheese on this. And a little bit of butter. I usually put spinach on it, but we don't have any more. And then I just have a whole bunch of berries. We actually never have berries like this, but we do today, so I'm about to go off a little bit. So I have some strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries in that. I'm still out of breath. But yeah, I took a shower and everything. I'm getting ready to go babysit. I don't know how long I'm going to be there today. Probably for a couple hours, so I'll probably update you guys after. Um, but my camera battery died uh, while I was cycling. So I had to charge her for a little bit. That's why I didn't show you making the food and stuff like that, because my camera needed to charge. So... Yeah, I will see you guys after I babysit. <sighs> okay, guys. So, I got a couple packages. Okay, this lighting is way too bright. Okay, I don't know why I didn't just do the table first. So now we're going to do a little... I can't see. Alright, so now we're going to do a little unboxing, which... I love watching unboxings and hauls, so if you don't care to see what I got, you can just skip until this time. And you can just skip it and you don't have to worry about it, but... If you want to see some things I got, I have a couple things from Ulta and then Amazon. I haven't made an Ulta order in a long time, but I just needed to restock on some skincare stuff. <laughs> skincare stuff that I can only really get from Ulta because they don't have it like Walmart and Target and stuff. So I'll do that one first. I got a lot of stuff from The Ordinary um, because I tried their 2% Hyaluronic Acid Serum and I love it and it cleared my skin up so well. And I've been out of it literally since like since quarantine started because it was like that week that the Sephora um, the Sephora serum I was using and the Ulta serum that I was using they both ran out right before quarantine and then like quarantine happened and then all the stores were closed so I was just sitting here like I can't and that was like before like the online shopping really was like oh shipping's gonna take forever so I was like well I guess I'll just go without it and my skin is clearly lacking it so um yeah, I got some more of the serum. I love the Ordinary's pack. This is the back. I love their packaging. It's so cute and simple. And I like the Ordinary because it's really affordable and it's really good quality products. Um, and like I literally use the serum like twice and I saw such a difference in my skin. So just got another one. But yeah, it's just also don't mind my nails. They kept falling off. So I cut them short while I was babysitting and I need to take them off later. So yeah, but this is the hyaluronic acid. Um, and I'm not like a skincare expert or anything, but I, my skin reacts really well to hyaluronic acid. Um, so I try to stick to using only those kind of products because I heard it's bad to mix acids. I mean, I don't know, I'm not like a chemist or anything, but I feel like that makes sense not to mix like a whole bunch of random acids together. And then the next thing that I got um, was the AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. Um, this is the stuff that was like all over TikTok. And it was super popular, but I just heard that it was really good like exfoliant or whatever yeah 10 minute exfoliating facial and even though it's like a chemical peel i think kind of makes me nervous but i kind of wanted to try it see what the hype was about and it was only like six dollars so got that to try it out and then the next thing that i got i heard out from ava jules um this is the ordinary salicylic acid two percent mask it's just like it looks like a charcoal mask kind of but i don't think there's charcoal in it 
So I got that to use because I need to get more like quality masks. I have like those masks from like Walmart that are like the sparkly like, peel off, but I feel like those really don't do anything other than put a whole bunch of alcohol on your skin and they're like it's not really doing anything. It's not really doing anything. So I'm trying to like invest in like more natural, helpful skincare products. So if you guys have any recommendations down below, especially at the like drugstore, let me know because I could use some. Next thing I got was this Tree Hut Sugar Scrub because I've just been wanting to get like a scrub. I tried to make one like a couple of years ago. I used to make these and it just didn't work out the same. So I really wanted to try the Tree Hut one. And this one was on sale on Ulta last week, I think, whenever I ordered it. It was Saturday, yeah. So I got the Frosted Sugar Cookie one. It's a Shea Sugar Scrub. And I heard these are really good and I've seen them all over TikTok so I just wanted to try them. And the next thing I got was Bio Oil just for my skin and stuff like that. Um, it helps with like scar, stretch marks, uneven skin tone and stuff like that. So I thought I could try it. My friend Kaylee has this and she loves it. She says it's literally the best thing ever and it was on sale too. Um, so I decided to try some of it. And the last thing I got was some Aquaphor because it was literally like a dollar and I was like, oh, I could try this. Oh, these are the gel nail polishes I got. So I've been wanting, so I've had these like long nails on and I get in these moods where I really like having short nails. So I have a UV lamp because I had a poly gel kit a while ago that I used to use. Um, but sometimes I just want to do like short gel nails and call it a day. Okay, so here's the swatches of them. It's like a lot of neutrals, um, a white, two pinks, and then one of the pinks is really sparkly. So I'm excited to use these. I'm gonna leave those boxes I don't need it but I'll keep it in the box. And then the next thing that I got, let me open this. Oh, I'm still waiting on one more thing actually. Um, and then this thing I got is just like this home nail kit because I've wanted one for a while and this one was actually on sale. So basically it's just a bunch, it's like 600, I think it's like 600 nail tips um, it comes with glue, nail tips, files, and then one of those nail color thingies. And it was just a really good deal. So it has like all these different sizes of them. And then it has like, let me show you. And it comes in this cute little case, which is cool because I can store it easier. Um, so yeah, it has, comes with like a little filing sponge. It comes with a nail clipper. Oops, what just fell out of it? Oh, a nail tip just fell out of it. Um, and then it comes with like a whole bunch of little mini glues, which is nice. Yeah, it comes with a whole bunch of little like mini glues. And then this is a debonder. Um, I'm not really sure what this does, but we'll figure it out. And they're just like the clear nail tips. They have little like divots on them where you can put the glue and then like put them on, so. Okay guys, so I just made myself some iced coffee. Um, it's just the Dunkin' blend. I don't know, but Whenever I make iced coffee at home, it doesn't hit the same anymore. I don't know what I need to do. Like, I don't know if I need to get, like, syrups or something. But it just never tastes, like, good. I mean, I'm going to drink this, obviously, but I don't know. It never hits the same as when I go to Dunkin'. But anyways, um, I'm going to put some clothes away. I just started a whole bunch of clothes in the washer. So, um, which, thank goodness, because I've needed to do laundry for, like, three weeks. I think I talked about this last night. But speaking of last night, I never showed you guys the finished product of my little cube organizer that I built. So, um... Here she is. I know it looks really cluttered because I have all my sweaters in there, which is the whole point of it, but I'm gonna fold them obviously like nicer and neater some other day in the future, but I just wanted to shove them in there for now, so that's why, so it would be a little more cleaner around it. So my floor's looking a lot better. I just have a couple things I need to hang up. Like I need to hang up these pants, it's my robe. I need to clean that corner, clean that, hang up all my clothes, and then I wanna fix my desk area too. So I'm just gonna have a really big cleaning night because I think tomorrow, me and one of my best friends, Alex, we're gonna go to Cheesecake Factory kind of celebrate the end of summer and have like one last outing before the semester starts because my school starts next Monday. And we're gonna go to Cheesecake Factory and have like a really cute little bougie dinner or whatever. And we're gonna get like dressed up and stuff. And I think she's gonna come over before. So I definitely wanted to make sure my room was like clean and like I didn't look like a pig um, when she comes over tomorrow. So I'm just gonna make sure I clean now because I don't know my schedule for tomorrow yet. So I just wanna make sure I do it while I have time. I'm just gonna do some cleaning tonight and probably do my nails, take these off and then put the new ones on and then probably do one of the face masks tonight. So I'm gonna do some cleaning and I'll come back to you guys. When I'm done because I'm pretty sure this vlog is going to be way too long already because I love to talk and ramble in my vlogs. So yeah, I'm going to just see y'all later. 
All right, guys, making a lot of progress in my room, but I just want to show you really quick. I actually got a new desk chair. Shout out to my friend Alex, the same one I was talking about earlier, because she let me have her old chair that she doesn't use anymore. And it's perfect because, so this chair that I've been using in my past couple videos, it squeaks a lot. And also, it's just so big, like, I can't even push it underneath the desk, like, because the handles get in the way of, like, the desk. But my friend Alex was like, I have an old chair I'm just trying to get it rid of. And I said, a word. So it's this one. Look at that. So cute. So room update. It's 7.05. I forgot that I had a TV in my room because it's always been back there on top of that thing. Um, but since I always only watch like YouTube and Netflix and I never really use it that much. But I forgot that I had my sister's fire stick. So I just set up my TV because now that I have this right here. I actually have somewhere that I can like comfortably watch it like from my bed or something like that. So I was just watching Lauren Geraldo's vlog but it just turned off. I don't know why I did that. I'm currently at Walgreens right now because... I went to go take off my nails so I could redo them for the next few days or whatever and I did not we don't have any more nail polish remover and to take off these I'm pretty sure I need like acetone um I also have two films with me I don't know if you guys know but I actually this summer I started filming on I mean I started taking pictures on film so like film photography I went to the thrift store literally like the week after they opened after like corona this is like so saturated can we relax I went to the thrift stores like right when they opened back up after corona and everything and i got a three dollar camera and it works uh, all i had to do was put a battery in it and put some film in it and i got film from walgreens and i'm gonna go send these off um these ones are both from july when i like i wanted to make sure that i had the film um for when i did fun stuff in july like i went to myrtle beach and then i went somewhere else and then like when i went to ocean city and stuff like that a few times i i love like the way that film photography looks and i know it's kind of dumb because like it's a thing of the past but i love stuff like that i don't know i'm like a sucker for like vintage -y kind of things like that so i'm gonna go drop these films off and then i'm gonna see if they hopefully they have nail polish remover um if they don't it's gonna be really upsetting but you know it is what it is i'm gonna go in the store now i'll vlog a little i think i'm gonna get Okay, guys, I look crazy right now, but I just wanted to update. Okay, I'm filming on my phone right now. Okay, this is like actually horrible. I should not be a vlogger, but um, basically, it's Thursday. It's like 2 30. I just got on babysitting. Basically, okay, I look like a George Washington with my hair like this, but um, it's in a clip right now, and like these pieces are all like it's so hot that they're just like not working anymore but i really don't care um so anyways it's like thursday it's 2 36 ish right now i just got a babysitting basically i woke up super late and then i never started the vlog this morning so sorry you missed my morning routine but it literally was just me waking up changing and running out the door so um i'm running some errands really quick as you guys know i got this law of attraction planner from amazon and i love it but honestly i don't really need it i could just have a law of attraction journal and it'd be way more worth my time and also this was like 32 dollars and so i'm gonna return that today's the last day i have to return it um back to amazon so i can get my refund because like it's cute and all and i like it but i don't need it and if i can return and get 30 dollars back i will so i'm gonna return this i actually ordered myself a smoothie from tropical smoothie um because i'm not like hungry but i kind of just like want something like and something healthy too um so i'm gonna have a smoothie the watermelon mojito smoothie is fire and then i might run into five below really quick just to see what they have in there um i don't really need anything in there i just kind of want to go in there because i like going in there every once in a while just like to see what they have hi guys i know i look crazy right now but let me just update you um, I need to finish doing the laundry from yesterday and pick out my outfit. I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear, I'll show you guys in a second, but it's going to be cute. I got my dress in the mail for tomorrow. So tomorrow my friend Julie is having a little like birthday party. Um, don't worry. It's not going to be a whole bunch of people. It's like, I'm not going to get Corona. Don't worry. Um, but it's going to be like a euphoria theme party. So I got this really cute dress from Amazon. It's like super sparkly and like it's see-through obviously. I'm going to wear a really cute like black bralette with it and then some shorts and like my docks maybe or like some black socks or something. I don't know. And then do like the euphoria makeup. I think it's going to look so cute. And I definitely can use this a lot of different times. Was that right? English? I can definitely get a lot of use out of it. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited for today. I haven't been to Cheesecake Factory in a long time. Hey guys, so we're at the mall now. Oh, hey. I'm just walking without my mask on. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> I literally, oh. I don't deserve to. <laughs> but yeah, we're at Burlington. We're gonna walk. 
Can to Bath and Body Works. So I ran over a can and I thought oh. I hit someone's car and that was really dramatic. Yeah, that was traumatic. We had a slightly traumatic um, <laughs> parking experience at this time. Scrub and Wow, that's romantic. So we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works. Oh, this way. We're gonna go to Bath and Body Works and we can go to Area if you have time if you want. What time is the reservation? 6.30? Yeah. Okay, it's 5.51. So... And we still have to like, walk over there. Yeah. So it's going to be probably like, here at like 6.20. Bet. I've never tried the strawberry lemonade from Cheesecake. You have to. <laughs> you have to. It's amazing. Look how beautiful this is. Sugar rim. And the sugar rim. Y'all, I didn't get chicken tenders and french fries. I'm proud of myself. That, wow. I feel like an adult. You know, like an actual meal. So, dream. Oh my gosh. I get the same one every single time I come here because I'm like five. She got the white chocolate. Pretty delicious. Taste test. Wow. Uh, That's the one. Yep. Yep. Hey guys, so it's me, Sab. It's currently like Tuesday, the 30, no, Tuesday, September 1st. It's literally September 1st. That is crazy. I swear it was just March like last week, but I just wanted to end off this video because that Friday, I did not have a good day Friday, honestly, like it ended really well. Um, If you guys want to see how my euphoria look that I kept talking about in this video turned out, you should go follow me on Instagram because I posted it on there and I also post a other bunch of stuff on Instagram and that's like a good way if you want to ever like DM me or anything like that. I'd love to talk to you guys through there. Um, but also, I was just not having a good day Friday, so th there was no vlog for that day. So sorry that I kind of like, kind of catfished y'all because this video was only Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But it was still 30 minutes long um, because I blabber and talk way too much. And I'm sorry about that. But hopefully, if you made it to this point, like you're really a real one because yo sat through 30 minutes of me, like... I was staying so hard also my nail broke sorry but yeah I just want to let you guys know also that my new posting schedule is going to be videos on Mondays and Thursdays because I work in American Eagle on the weekends so like it's going to be hard for me to post on the weekend because I'm not going to have time to edit on the weekend but like during the week I feel like it's fun and also I love when my YouTube, like favorite YouTubers post during the week um, I'm going to try my best to do twice a week but if not I'll definitely post on either Monday or Thursday I'm not sure which one yet but I don't want to tie myself down to a schedule because then I'm just like all stressed out and like you know how that is um I just burped and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give a thumbs up also I keep doing that hand thing that's from TikTok I'm so sorry I am so annoying but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys had a great fantastic summer um happy fall semester to all of you I did vlog my first day of fall semester which I will post on Thursday and yeah I will see you guys on social media or my next video love you all so much thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again on my channel peace out